Hello everybody, how good of you to join, welcome back to Banished, well just in time because a trader has arrived at our glorious port and well it's an interesting trader, it's a trader full of animals, we do have for example 15 domesticated animals with this trader here that we can use and let's just have a look around because there's a building that actually requires domesticated animals for construction, that's the egg pen, right, so in the egg pen we are, well, getting eggs and stuff like that obviously now i think i do have a couple of more of these buildings that would require some domesticated animals and yeah there are 15 in stock here so i would actually like to get hmm let's say 12 because each one of these buildings requires four right so that's 3000 oh by the way do we have that much let's just check if we have the trade value available for that 500 that's a thousand and then we got some iron tools here as well that are worth quite a lot and the heights of course and the heights they're going to kick us out there right and the oh this is very close though but it should be fine and there we have it 3000 total trade value we're basically using everything that we have but we get 12 domesticated animals out of that and that's a lot of eggs coming in there's also some beef cows here only two of them unfortunately um we could still take them i guess wait a second um let's trade let's actually trade eight right so i can build a second building eight is fine and i'm actually going with two um trade beefs there as well and that means that i can reduce the amount of tools basically that we have actually to zero i think and perhaps also reducing the amount of this one and thus we are also able to finish the first egg pen that we have of course it still needs someone to work it but it is being built and as we can see yep there are some chickens in there as well that roaming around oh and look at that there's so many people grew up just now um we need to be very careful i know we are at 5000 food and we really got a huge bump of people right now eight new adults coming in let's just assign most of them to something where they can be useful so the gatherers the forester the fisherman was rather low again and the herdsman there we have this one and another herdsman will be coming up here so there's already the materials being transported over there especially also the domesticated animals i'm also building another um, pasture there that we can use then for the cows now let's just check something else and that is my stone and iron production what we can see over here is that well we're basically out of stone and iron so it might be a good idea to get rid of the gatherers here that we have and save on the workforce first of all and second of all to well free it up for something else right we have lots of stone over there and it might be a good idea to have a gatherer there let's just see i think on the other side there we still have some stone as well let's chop it down this stone here and also this iron there but that's really it there's not that much anymore right especially for stone it's going to be interesting how we can manage that to be honest once the stone is out because we're still needing a lot of stone Perhaps there is something for that. Let's take this one. I don't think that I need to build a gatherer, right? Whenever someone has a bit of time, available time, and we have lots of people, they can do the job. And look at that. Deep winter right now. And since food is going down so quickly, I will also have to, well, keep up with the food production. Let's build another fishery here at the lake. So some of you have suggested that this river here is not producing enough fish. I have my doubts about this because I think they produce normally. But we'll just see about that. I'm going to uh, implement another fishery here. We also have the ability to build a fisher farm or a fish farm. Perhaps something like that makes a lot of sense right now. And there we have it, the fish farm. And it's a rather smaller building, so we can basically place it wherever we want. And I think close to my other food production, it could make sense. So there we have a fish farm then also coming up. And I've also increased the workplaces for all of the um, hunting cabins that we have, right? So we can apply now a few more hunters. In fact, three more. I'm also going to assign three more to the hunters. Uh, gatherer is now too much, so I'm going to reduce the amount of that. Fisherman, yep, this is going to increase soon now anyway. And I just hope that I don't or haven't forgotten any other food production building right now because it is a bit tight right now. 3,500, okay. Um, I guess another field would do wonders then as well. And yes, by the way, we have gotten another seed for the orchard. So out of the banana, it's now the oak. So we can build us another orchard that we can have for then, well, basically some oak trees. So that we have the orchard for that. And yep, let's just have it out there as well. Let's make a big 
a really big field out of that. Let's keep a bit of a space though for the the mines that we can have then there, right? So there it is. And yes, this is probably reducing the amount of animals we can get from the hunting cabin. So I will also need to build the hunting cabin a bit further on that side there. So we get a bit more um, forest into the area, right? There we have it. Because this one is not producing that much anymore. I don't think so. And the hunting cabin there as well. It's a lot of production coming up, but that's a good thing. Oh, and someone died in... Yeah, was crushed by... <laughs> the stone color was crushed by a rock. <laughs> so he died in here, once again, in the clay pit. But we have enough people for now. And I think this is also a nice way of, you know, managing your population. Especially if you have too many, like we have right now. And I'm also building another pasture there. Very good. I hope they're producing now enough eggs. I mean, there seems to be so many eggs that they're actually coming up there on the side. And as we can see, 36 eggs, for example, is the latest harvest from that. Love it. And hopefully with a new trader, we get some more animals. I think we have a new trader. Let's just have a look. There are some chickens. Um, Leghorn, once again, 15 domesticated animals. What's going on here? We do get a lot of them. We could also trade some deer. And fertilizer, bamboo. Unfortunately, no more seeds or no new seeds, but domesticated animals. Sounds good to me, right? We could take another four of them. I think we can afford that, and we should. So with that, we could build another egg pen. Because that is not enough here, and they're producing some nice amount of food. And food is the most important thing right now. Let's go for, hmm, yeah, I guess another egg pen. And then we can trade them. Let's trade them. I'm also moving now um, all of my Frisian cows from this area because we only can hold up to seven into this area and they're reproducing quite quickly. And here we can actually have then 12 of them, right? And that's why I did the, the thing here now. And we could build another real big pasture. So once we have 12, we could split them in half and get one of the, the herds then into another pasture and thus, you know, get a few more out of them if possible. So hopefully they're moving now. We got already the seven over there now, as we can see, very good. And I have a problem though still, and that is that I bought some cows that we have here, the beef cow, and I can't use them for the pasture. Reason for that is, I'm pretty sure is that because they're in the central market and not in one of my village barns. Now I have no idea how I get them over there because basically um, there is no button for, for this one here to, you know, distribute that stuff over there. Or perhaps it's not enough cows. Perhaps two is not enough and I need four of these cows. We'll see um, because I, I'm intending to trade them again next time. We have lots of cloth by the way so why not just increase the amount of hide coat that we have. It's worth quite a lot. And the next fishing dock is also ready and we do have the amount of people. Oh god we are really growing a bit too quickly there for my taste at the moment. Let's use... The gatherer is fine, but the fisherman, that's four more. I'm not happy until we have 10,000 food now, right? There's the harvest that's starting right now as well. Do we have still available workforce? Let's use some of them all as farmers so they can help with the harvest. And there's also the fish farm ready now, a new modded building that we have. It requires one worker on it and yep, let's assign one to it. So not a fisher that is being required here, but a worker and only one. That is good too. And hopefully this is producing enough food then as well. We still have lots of people. The next cabins up here are coming up and the orchard that is being yep, chopped down. We basically just have to chop down a lot of trees for that. And after that, we should be able to get some oak trees. Of course, oak trees, that's going to take a while before this is profitable. And seven cows, very good. This is growing now from six to seven. And yeah, here, I, don't, I have no idea what to do with this pasture. We need to wait to get a few more animals in and then I might reactivate it. Ah, very good. The orchard has been finished and we can now choose the oak tree for this one. And of course, we do need one more uh, farmer for this area then. Let's just assign, yep, one more, very good. This is going to take, the, I think, now two or three years before this becomes actually efficient, right? But until then, we have the other things that work for us. And yeah, we are at 3,000 food, so even during the winter we grew a bit, just a tiny bit. And I would also like to get rid of this hunting cabin there now. I don't think that it works anymore for us. And of the scatter here, right? We do have those two now working for us and they are quite full. We might make them actually even fuller for that. Very good. Um, and since the log is also going down, you know, we need a lot of firewood, um, but I'm also producing coal now, so hmm, no idea. We should be fine on that. 
but still I'm going to build a few more forester huts there. Yeah, we still don't have now massive problems everywhere to be honest. Um, it's partly because I think we grew a bit too quickly once again, even though I didn't build that many new houses. And we do have, yeah, no firewood and the food is still going down, which baffles me. We have so much production now. Some of them are lacking tools. And I don't know what my fishermen are doing, because we have so many of them. <laughs> we should be getting a lot of fish in. Right, and they are delivering that. Now, the interesting thing here is, where are they delivering it? We Should we have, let's just see. I think they're not delivering it to the market, right? Oh, they are. Alright, so the market kind of acts as a storage there as well. Um, if that would have not been the case, then I would have to build a storage barn here somewhere. But it seems to be fine. Yeah, we're still going down on the food. There is another storage barn coming up then as well that we need here. And we have so many of them now working. That's incredible. Still not making a lot of food there right now. I think we're growing even more now. We have 29 students at the moment. That's insane. I'm also going to build a hunting cabin far out here now and a, well, gatherer hut right next to it. So both of them can then also work in this area. And there is the storage barn anyway. That is full though, so we do need yet another storage barn then as well. Something along the line. Boy, it's getting a bit tough there now. Let's build a normal one here as well. Another normal storage barn that takes lots of storage into it. And probably also need a street then going up there as well. So we do have enough workers for now. Oh, and there is also a little hill, so that's the end of this road. We have to take a turn then here into this area. And those guys, well, they should also get a road there so that they can move freely around. Let's just make here another square. Very good. 2,300. Well, there's no starving yet, but we're close. We're close. And it's autumn once again. Hopefully there's a good harvest coming in. Also, I'm building another crop field here. Well, basically just with squash because we still haven't received any other seeds so far. Um, that's not going to happen. As we can see, we got now 8 cows. At least this is growing, but we're at 1,500 food. Boy, I hope the, the harvest is going to be good. And I hope that we can also finish the hunting cabin up there quickly. I've also assigned a second blacksmith now because we are still not producing enough tools for our population. There's way too many people running around without tools. And um, one of the problems could be that we are storing the tools in here, right? So I'm going to now also say no to tools in the in this trader here because he's just getting tools a lot look at that there were 16 in there and he was getting them all the time so we are reducing that that should free up some tools again we have 21 without that and of course that is reducing the effectiveness of the whole village there right um 1500 food still but it dropped for a second even below that it's incredible how big our food production is and it's still not enough though and there's winter harvest. Hmm. We still have a bit of time. It's only autumn now. It's not even late autumn, but it's an early frost. This, yeah, this adds a bit to the tragedy that we see here right now. That frost is happening way too soon. And there we are losing some of the harvest again. Alright. Wasn't a very good harvest then. There we have squash now too. And I will assign another farmer to that area there as well. So that we have... Ah, let's make it three. Right. So that for the next year it's going to be good. And childbirth, someone died. That's actually fine. It's not bad that we lose some people from time to time. And yeah, 3,000 food. So that's the harvest coming in right now. And also a lot of people got their tools now. Look at that. Over 20 people just got their tools back from the um, port. And now it's all about the Gadra Hut Hunter Cabin there. And there's really nothing else that I could do about the food production, I think. Mm, we got a trader, seedling, hardwood, sand, clay. Nothing that I would really need. Off you go. Okay, it's looking actually a bit more stable again a year later. So I've built a second blacksmith that we have working now too. And that solved the tools problem. So we have enough tools again. And of course with the tools efficiency goes up again for each one of them. And also this field here is working now. And also the cows grew so quickly that we have basically now two 
pastures, one with 7 of 7 and one with 7 of 12. This is still growing. Here we are already slaughtering the cows um, for some meat there as well. We have 4,500 food dust, so it's growing. It's going up again. And another cool thing is that the um, I think the oak trees are now ready then for harvesting. So there's another source of food coming in. And all of that together combined, well, hopefully should solve the problem. Oh yeah, by the way, and also a fishing dock on this side, also fully staffed now with some fishermen. So that's that. Um, we can focus on a few other things for now. We have also 300 stone, which I'm really happy <laughs> about. So what we can see here right now, we have over 160 people now in the town. That means that the small chapel officially is out of business or well, it's stuffed full with people and the cemeteries here are full as well. So what we could do is we could build a bridge to that side and over here have a massive cemetery and here have a massive church dam. And I think we might actually go with this. We have no builders, no laborers, so there's not going to be anyone working on that, but it should not matter. Let's just have the foundation for this one. So there's going to be the bridge then in, yeah, well, I think in this area there. And should we have a, yeah, let's have a wooden bridge or with a roof there again, because I, I really like the look of them. Over to this side, right home. And here we can then have a normal street once again. So somewhere then going into this area and here we could make a massive cemetery, right? So this is going to be our cemetery area then because we have two of them with 18 and with 12 graves. And yeah, for such a massive town, of course, it's too much. Plus, I don't want this to be too close to the city anymore. And yeah, the church is also going to take a bit of space there. That's important now. And it's still right. This church is still close to the cemetery then, which makes sense as well from that point of view. Now, there's not a lot of people coming in now. That's good, right? So we only have 16 children and four students at the moment. It was way too high before that. And w when that happens, you know, you just have an uncontrolled growth that you don't want to have. Now, that's that. Um, another thing is I would still like to grow a bit in the center as well with a few more houses. And I know this is a problem because it leads to a bigger growth, but I think we are well set up for now and I can afford the, um, the houses that I would like to have in this area. So it's basically those houses there either. Um, I think we just go with one more here. I mean, that's 55 stone. We can't afford it. And then a corner house once again. Oh, that's close. Then let's make it different. Let's get rid of this house again and have the... Ah, there are so many buttons. Sometimes it's hard to keep track. Let's make it... Let's finish it off here, right? So there we have a bit of space there. I, I make, might actually make a three lane road there as well. And then it should be really fine. And here we can then continue with some more buildings, right? And we do have then a nice courtyard there in the center that I would like to have. And also here we can definitely also have another corner house. And it really just costs stone and the building and furniture materials. But that's really it, right? A lot of stone these cost. It's incredible. We have a lot of stone, but not forever, of course. We can build them. So once there are some more people coming and then I would also like to start with a bit of a mining industry. We don't have that at all yet. And there are some interesting buildings for that. Um, also, plus the major towns in the center there. But yeah, I'm happy to say that for now we don't have any new people coming in, which is good. And as we can see, the food is really recovering on that. There's also going to be a nice harvest this year, hopefully. I think it also matters a lot that the cows are growing so quickly. Here we can slaughter a lot of them all the time and it will also happen then here with 12 cows this is going up even more another laborer very good so we can assign him now to a builder so at least one guy is working on that and yeah we also have lots of storages here and i know that we should have these storages close to the food production area too otherwise those farmers would have to go way too too far right and that's a good thing for those um egg pens here i'm going to have more of them of course with another trader they can deliver the axe then right here into the, the village barn. As we can see, there's also lots of axe being stored. But yeah, looking good. Tools, firewood and food is plenty of. So we can then focus a bit again on the city development that would really like. So that big church is my next goal. And then court hall and town hall, uh, the big buildings for that we also need. And yeah, stone is going down. But this block here, we can also finish then. Very important. And I think there were some other buildings without this need of stone. And I think we're going to have then a few more. I think the captain houses and stuff like that. 
And very good, we were once again at the food limit, so I just increased it to 11,000. That means we have, yeah, we have 8,000 food and more, and I'm really happy about that. So, problem solved. Another crisis is over, at least for now, until we have the next big growth coming along. And, yeah, as we also can see, these houses are coming along splendidly. We have enough stone again, because I'm dropping down a lot of stone in the surrounding. This block here would really like to finish before I go for another uh, type of house. We do have some houses without stone, so that we can build a few more. And, yeah, with the three layered road it actually looks very good on either side so here we can just add a few more flower beds then as well and of course then a nice little courtyard there for those buildings here and yep we're also coming closer to our harb area where i do have a lot of lumber stored at the moment that's because well basically we do have a lot of lumber i think yep 2000 here and Oh, only 15 here. All right, but we have 2000, right? And bricks we also have a lot. So, more brick roads incoming. Stay tuned. <laughs> 